Let's test our knowledge in the Word. We're going to look at just a simple little Bible lesson that all of our preachers and Sunday school teachers have told us about when Jesus was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane, asking God to take this cup from him, but neither still his will be done. What was he talking about right then? Or have our preachers given us an opinion and we just ran with it? Let's look at that scripture. No opinions, looking at the Word. Go to Matthew chapter 20. Uh, 26 let's start in verse 36 and look at it together all right then cometh jesus went unto a place called gethsemane and saith unto his disciples sit ye here while i go and pray over yonder pray yonder and he took him peter and two sons of zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy and then saith he unto them my soul is exceeding sorrowful even unto death. Tarry ye here. Let wait you here, he says, and watch with me. He started to pray, right? And he went a little further and he fell on his face and he prayed saying, Oh, my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. So we saw that he was exceedingly sorrowful unto death. Now let's look at a different passage, same story, in Luke chapter 22. See what Luke says. He's a physician. All right, so we're looking here, same story, Jesus in agony in Gethsemane. He is praying to the Heavenly Father. Pray that ye enter not into temptation, he tells his disciples. He is feeling very sorrowful. And he went about a stone's throw away, and he kneeled down, and he started to praying to the Heavenly Father, saying, Father, if thou be willing to remove this cup from me, nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Same story, is it not? And then he says, And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. All right, he's in agony. And what does it say here? He rose up and he had great drops of blood that he was sweating, falling down on the ground. Very significant here. Luke is quite concerned. So Jesus is sweating drops of blood. That is hematrodosis. That is a condition that is unto death. You're dying when that is happening. You're under such stress and agony at that moment. Your physical body is physically dying. Keep that in mind. Now go to Hebrews chapter 5, where he is speaking again of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane over this situation. Hebrews 5, 7, just a reminder, who in the days of his flesh... When he offered up prayers and supplication with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard. He is praying out to the heavenly father. God, I am physically dying here. And he prays to the one who could save him from death and was heard. And God sent an angel who strengthened him. So when Jesus was praying to God and says, let this cup pass from me, Lord, I'm dying. He knew he had to go to the cross, but he at that moment was physically dying. He was saying, God, if I die here, I'll never make it to the cross. I came for a purpose to die for each and every one of you. Please, God, take this cup from me because I've got a job to do. I came to save and be the lamb of God the sacrifice and an angel came and brought him strength that cup did pass from him God sent an angel to keep him from dying at that moment 